Welcome to my channel. My name is Amy. This is a channel about cross stitch and this will be my weekly update. Um, we've been stitching in mania so far this month, having lots of fun. Yeah, having lots of fun. <laughs> anyway, welcome. If this is your first video with me. I'm glad you made it to my channel. Hope you come back again. For those of you returning, welcome back. I hope you had a great week this week. Mine was pretty busy. My niece, um, she lives across town and she had her second baby this last, past week. And so I got to go over and spend a day holding and loving on that sweet little boy. Um, he is so cute. And there's nothing like holding a newborn that just warms your heart and makes you reconnect with what's important in life. Oh, he was so much fun. And we had a good visit that day. Um, and just wonderful love love family time um and then what else that happened this week oh this week um home goods finally opened i mentioned that they were opening last um two weeks ago but they didn't open um they ended up taking another week before they opened so i went over with the, met some friends at the home goods on thursday and this past Thursday and we had to wait in line about a half an hour before they opened when I got there 30 minutes prior there was already like 20 people in line so I couldn't believe it so I went and stood in line and um, they were limiting the amount of people who could go into home goods um, to 103 people which they said is about um, I think 10% of their capacity uh, so um, they had arrows all over the floors, kind of directing traffic, which way you could walk and go to try and help with distancing. Um, it was kind of crazy. The arrows on the floor didn't really make sense. Like to get to the checkout, you couldn't, I don't know. It was confusing. I think people weren't able to follow it very well. Um, I was a little disappointed. I was hoping for 4th of July decorations and decor but they had zero fourth of july out um and all they had was all their easter which was 75 percent off so they had a lot of good deals but i because i had purchased so much easter um items from hobby lobby i didn't want to buy a whole lot of easter decor from home goods so i was kind of bummed i really was wanting to get some fourth of july items i've already begun taking down the spring decor in my home and all the spring decorations out of my home and uh in the next week or so i'll maybe start putting out all the fourth of july um so we went to home goods i did find a ray dunn mug for four dollars that said grandma on it and so i got that also i picked up um this pillow, it was already marked clearance for $6. And so you got 75% off of that. And I thought this is a perfect size to buy, to use for finishing. Um, eventually I'll probably do a cross stitch and make a pillow case out of it. And then I could put this inside of it. It has a zipper so I could take off this outer shell and just use it inside pillow. I figured um, for a buck fifty, it's worth it to pick it up to use for future finish, cross stitch finish. Um, what else did I get from Home Goods? I think I got one large uh, um, rabbit that would be good to use outside for like your garden area. Um, I picked up some. Um, toys uh there was a bedspread um pillowcase and two pillows that were dinosaur print for 13 dollars for the whole set for a twin bed so i got that for my grandson um what else just a few like odds and ends type of deal nothing too exciting really um so i left so we spent about an hour shopping and then when we went to go check out, we had to stand in line for an hour because they only had three registers open and um, they were wiping down everything in between each customer. So the process was very slow. Um, after we left there and uh, we were out visiting the parking lot, um, talking about our purchases, 
um, one of the gals had mentioned that several of her items weren't scanning 75% off and she caught it. Well, that made me concerned because the register I was at, the screen wasn't showing any prices. So I couldn't see what things were ringing up at. So I sat there in the parking lot before I left and I went through my receipt and sure enough, that rabbit I had purchased, it was $20 normal price, did not ring up 75% off. And so I don't want it for $20. <laughs> uh, so I had to go back to home inside home goods luckily there wasn't a line outside but they don't have a separate return counter from the regular checkout counter so i had to wait in the line again another 40 minutes to return the bunny at 20 dollars and um so that was like exhausting then i went over to burlington coat factory because i had um, bought a bunch of items from there clothing that i had some of the things didn't fit my boys right, so I had to return those items and um, wait in line over there to check out for 45 minutes. So needless to say, by the time I got home, I was worn out. My feet hurt. I was over it. I'm like, maybe sheltering in place at home is not so bad. All oh, the waiting in lines is, it was exhausting. So. I don't think I really feel the need to go out shopping anymore um, until it kind of dies down, everything dies down and goes back to normal. I don't like standing in line for an hour to check out or an hour to go inside. Um, it's a lot. So that was my home goods shopping experience this week. Um, so now let's talk about uh, my, oh, let's talk about my, flossy mail or my stitchy mail. I received a thank you card. It was so sweet and so unexpected from Dawn and she had won one of uh, my giveaways the prior week and this was unnecessary but super appreciated and thank you so much Dawn. I really enjoyed the card, getting the card and the sweet message um, that you sent me. All right, let's talk about wits. Um, so this week I, um, had put, well, last week I put Memorial Day by Hands on Design in timeout because I had gotten off on my blue stars the stitching and I realized that I was, you know, into the evening and I was like, oh man. So I put it in timeout. So I got it out of timeout this week. Here's the, what it looks like. Hands on Design Memorial Day. I, I uh, got it out of timeout and I discovered where my error was in the blue stars in the middle flag. I had added three extra full rows. So I picked all those out and I finished the blue rows and I did all the red stripes on the middle flag. It's turning out super cute. Um, so I have to do the white stitching still another flag and the flowers along the bottom. Still have a lot to go. Um, so I'm just happy that it's out of time out and we're back in, we're back in business. <laughs> I was watching Farm Girl's video this week and she was talking about um, when she makes mistakes on her cross stitch um, and before she puts it aside and takes a break, she fixes the errors. That way, when she feels like stitching again, she just picks it up and gets right um, started. And I think that's a good idea because several days I didn't stitch on this because I didn't feel like picking out the messed up rows and dealing with it. So if I would have dealt with the errors the day that I found out and they happened, then put it in timeout, I think I would have stitched on it much sooner. I think that's a good rule of thumb. So. When you have a boo-boo, just make a rule, you know, fix it, pull it all out, then put it away, and then you're ready to go next time you're ready to stitch on it. Love that. So that was my one of my whips for this week. I'm also doing um, Snow Village um, Country Cutters Needleworks, and I'm on Skate and Sledge Shop. It's on the second row. I'll insert a picture of the pattern here because they're very small they're hard to see and I'm on the second row as I said I did the snow and the 
vine across the top, snowflakes, and part of the shop, the house, the building. That's turning out really nice and cute. I'm excited. I'm on the second row. There are 11 different patterns in this series, and I'm going to stitch them all in one piece. And then I'm hoping to have it done by um, December so I can have it out on display. So that's really super cute. That is being stitched. Let me tell you some of the details on that. Um, Country French Rain 16 Count Ada is the name of the fabric. And I'm using the Call for Floss and it is uh, part of the Fat Quarter Shop Club, so it automatically ships when the next one comes out. And I'm trying to stitch one of the villages um, each month. So that was my second whip. Then, the next whip I worked on was, well, this is my um, Prize Pig Sewing Book and Flower Urn Pin Keep. Didn't work on it. No progress. <laughs> ah, frustrating. And then my, I think that's the only one I didn't work on. Yeah. Yep, that was it. So that's not too bad. Okay, so then I worked on a free pattern by Needle Made Designs. Um, it was one of the free patterns in the Be Well series that all the designers gave to everyone to stitch for free. I started it this week and I finished it this week. It's not fully finished yet, um, but I have the stitching done. I used the um, Sulky 12 weight blendables in number 4016. And it's a variegated floss. And so it was really fun because I didn't have to worry about color changes or symbols. I just stitched away. Uh, this project took me, let me see, four and a half hours. Super quick, quick stitch. Um, it's 14 count DMC Carolina linen. It's a color. And it's gonna be a super cute little pillow. So I'll finish this this coming week. So next week I'll show you it fully finished, FFO'd. So that was my next project I worked on. And then for Mania this week, I started I Collect by Brenda Gervais with my needle and thread. Um, super adorable. I stitched that one on, um, <clears throat> I'm not sure what the brand is, but it's uh, when I did the measured it, it was 16 count coffee tea dyed fabric. And um, I changed all the colors. I didn't have the call for colors. So I just went into my stash and chose some colors to stitch it with. And love how it turned out. This pattern was super fast and easy. Um, it took me seven and a half hours about to stitch. I don't keep an exact time, but I try to start my little timer on my phone um, when I start and stop, just so I can have a general idea. Sometimes there's little interruptions, or if I'm watching floss tube, I might stop and look up. So it's not an exact time, but it's an approximate uh, time. I pulled some buttons from my mother and grandmother's button collection that I received, and um, I used the DMC red on the dark red here. This is Classic Color Works eggshell for the thread. I used St. Bernard, um, Classic Color Works St. Bernard for the scissors. And Weeping Willow is the green by Classic Color Works. The brown here for the tops of the um, thread, bobbin, what do they call this? Spool? <laughs> the spool, yeah, that's it. The brown on the spool is uh, DMC 3829, and this color here on the jar 
It's got some gray, some brown, some rusty color. It's uh, General Arts, it's limited edition, there's no name on it. Um, and I had received that from an Etsy shop when I placed an order. Um, Jen stitching me, she sent me the floss with my order unexpectedly for fun. And I thought it was old and crusty looking and really cute. I'm gonna get that close to you so you could see the variegation, hopefully. If you can't see it very well in the video, I'll insert a picture. Um, so I love the way this turned out. I also used the unknown uh, General Arts floss for the word collector at the bottom. And the lighter uh, t tomatoes um, are done in classic color where it's barn door. Super cute. I have an idea for finishing this, so I'll work on that this week and I'll show you next week my fully finished project. So that was my mania start for the third week of mania. And I'm happy to say it's finished. You know, mania has been a little bit of a struggle for me. I only chose four patterns. This is my first time. But combined with my other whips, I started feeling a little bit overwhelmed, like stressed, like, oh my gosh, I'm not finishing these fast enough or, um, I don't know if I like it. <laughs> I don't know if it's because I'm new or if it's because I, my personality, how I, I like to start something and finish it. Um, so having extra whips that are just laying around in the bags is a little kind of stressful for me. So I'm much, I think that I'm not going to do my fourth mania choice. Don't hate me, <laughs> please. <laughs> I think I much rather work on the mania start I did at the beginning of the month, the June um, with the strawberries and the truck. Um, let me go grab that real quick. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. Um, as I was saying, um, I'd much rather take um, this last week and go back to my mania start of trucking along for June, a year of vintage trucks. I had only um, finished this much. And this is going to be my birthday start for this year. I started it a little early. My birthday's not until the first week of June, but I really would love to have this on display for June. So I am, I was scheduled to do um, I was scheduled to do this last week for Mania. I belong to the CrossFit Nation. I love this. I am going to start this soon, but I, I think I'd much rather try to get this finished and my Memorial Day finished so I can get those on display for um, this coming month, a couple months. Um, because I am a new stitcher, I don't have a lot of cross stitch from prior years for all the different holidays. So I really look forward to stitching something and putting it out. And I'm realizing through all of this that I really need to start stitching the next season earlier because I don't want it to be stressful. I don't want to feel rushed, but I want to, and I want to enjoy my stitching because I really do enjoy stitching. It's very calming and I love seeing, you know, your pattern come to life on the cloth. It's just something about it that, that thrills me. So I don't want it to be a burden and I don't want it to be um, a stressful thing. I don't want to feel rushed. So because of that, I made an executive decision <laughs> and I'm going to not start anything else for Mania this month. But I am going to continue to work and I'm going to add um, this back into my stitching routine and try to finish Memorial Day. Those are my two main objectives for the next week. Um, I'm not sure how much stitching time I'm going to get. I'm, I usually get a couple hours a day, two to three hours a day um, of stitching time. Um, as I mentioned before, uh, we are a multi-generational family here in the house. So there's me and my husband, our two of our, our children, uh, my daughter, 
and her husband and their, my grandkids live here and then my son who's single. Uh, my youngest son moved out and um, so he moved out of the craziness. <laughs> we miss him but we're excited for him. But So due to that, you know, there's always a lot going on around here. So sometimes I don't get very much stitching time in but I do love it. So I'm going to work on that and I'm going to call my mania a success. Um, even though I won't be doing four patterns. I've only started three. So I'm going to do those. Uh, and then what else? What was this one? Oh, 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 oh. And my other mania start, I wanted to go back to stitching the um, Suffrage Act proclaimed. Suffrage Act by Little House Needleworks. This was my other mania start and I had only gotten this far. So that's three patriotic pieces I could get out. So that's why I don't want to do another new start. I want to give all the time I can to these three and get as many of them as I can finished. So that's my plan for this week. And um, let's talk about my haul for this week. Um, I have ordered a bunch of things um, from different shops and they're all kind of you know behind they're a little busy but that's fine so randomly I'll get things in the mail that I forgot I had ordered which is always fun I ordered some more floss um, bandana and blushing beauty by classic color works I got I thought the colors were so pretty I got two of each so let me see if I have something white I can put behind it Those are gorgeous, turned out so pretty. Um, I picked, I got those. And then I also received Little House Needleworks um, and Country Cottage Needleworks, their partnership, and they designed a pattern together and it's called Where There Is Life. There is, and it says, Where There Is Life, There Is Hope. I ordered that pattern. I also have been, uh, I plan on stitching in July, The Secret Santas by Hands On Design. So I received the next two releases she just released. Uh, one is called Silent Night and it has Santa making a lot of racket and noise. I love this because this reminds me of my house. There's uh, always a party, noise, commotion going on. <laughs> so there's never a dull moment. And then I also got Mary and Bright. Santa's sporting some cool sunglasses there. So I got those. And then I, um, I bought Where Liberty... I can't talk today. Where Liberty Dwells with a needle and thread. And a lot of people are stitching this right now. really cute. If I get my other patterns done, I'm very ambitious. If, big if, I want to start these this year. If not, I'll put them on the list for next year. Okay, um, so along that train of thought, I want to stitch the patriotic pieces as quickly as possible. I finish those and then um, depending on how fast it goes, for sure July, I would like to do Jolly July and do some Christmas ornaments. And also start fall and Halloween. Um, and yeah, just try to get some things done before the next season hits. So what I'll do for fun is um, when I get ready to start a new kind of season of holiday stitching, I'll pull whatever stash I have for that holiday. So before I start stitching Halloween, I'll pull my Halloween stash and go through it with you guys. Or before I start stitching a fall piece, maybe I'll pull all the fall and Thanksgiving patterns that I have and we'll just do little mini stash dives. I don't have a huge amount, like hours of stash, but I got a good little amount that will be fun and we can just look at it as the seasons come and kind of get in the mood for that, that stitching. Okay, and what else do I want to talk to you about today? Um, oh, and I also got some 28 count even weave by uh, Monaco even weave. 
And I got from Fat Corner Shop, feels like home bag, canvas bag. It's a um, great size to hold um, projects. And it was only $10, so I thought, hey, I'm not stitching this pattern right now, but $10 project bag that's cute, I'm all for that, so I ordered that. <laughs> and that's my haul. Okay, I think we're done with the haul now. Okay, and then lastly, I wanted to tell you about um, Priscilla, Blaine, and Chelsea um, are coming to Las Vegas next year to do a stitching um, convention. And it's with the Pacific Southwestern Region, um, the EGA Needlework Convention, and it's in Las Vegas, and it's May 28th through May 2nd of 2021, and I signed up for it! It's at the Renaissance uh, Las Vegas Hotel, and registration opened up um, May 18th at 9 a.m., so I had my email all ready with all my registration forms and I sat there on my phone and as soon as it turned 9 a.m. I sent off my email and about a half hour later I got um, notification that they had received my email and then I received a PayPal for the registration fee. So I am super excited to go to this. Um, Priscilla and Chelsea are the reasons that why I got started back in cross stitch. Um, they're Priscilla's home tour of her home. Me and my sister fell in love with her Santa tree and all of her fun decor ideas for the holidays. That's what um, really captured my love and uh, got me started back started into cross stitch. Um, and so I'm super excited. They're going to be there teaching a class. And um, I look forward to meeting them in person and going to the workshop. Oh, I'm so excited. It'll be my first one. So I hope to go to many more. Um, the stitching um, conventions and the stitching retreats are so difficult to get into. Oh my goodness. I tried to uh, sign for StitchCon and I was on the waiting list. And I think I was like number 647 or something. And then unfortunately it got canceled due to COVID. But um, I want to try to get into these other conventions um, and retreats and meet all of you. Um, I think it'll be super fun. So that was my exciting news uh, besides my great grand um, nephew. I'm excited about him, of course, the most. But runner up, this was fun. So uh, Las Vegas is super close to here. I'm not sure if I'll drive or fly. It's only a 45 minute flight and to drive there takes four and a half hours. By the time you go to the airport park, go through security, get there early, then fly there, then wait for your bags, you could have driven yourself there. So I think that I might just drive. My sister is going to go with me and so we're super excited, a little girls trip and um, fun, 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 fun. So uh, what else? Let me make sure I didn't miss something. Oh, and I wanted to give you an update on my 20 projects for 2020. With those two completions, let's see what it puts me at. I want to stitch 20 projects this year. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 of them are finished. So I'm going to make my goal. I'm excited. All right, well, I hope all of you are doing well and that you're healthy and happy. And I'm so glad you visited with me today. And I look forward to talking to you again next week. Have a great day. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.